Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here to start the Stanley Cup playoffs. So I'm going to bring you up to date on where we are right now. Okay. Uh, the other division has been played in the West. And LA beat Winnipeg in that division in one of the one of the series. Is. And in the other series, Calgary beat Edmonton. And those were the two favored higher seeded teams. In fact, in the first the entire first round so far, only one um uh, one lower seeded team has advanced. In the Eastern Conference, what I'm going to call the Eastern Conference, because it was different then, but what I'm calling the Eastern Conference, um, Montreal beat Hartford, which was expected, and Boston beat Buffalo, which was also expected. Buffalo was the lower seeded team. So Montreal will advance and play Boston. LA will, um, LA and, um, Calgary will play each other to see who wins that game or that series. And then the other Eastern Conference matchup was the New York Rangers versus Washington. And the Rangers were the higher seed and they advanced. And then the other one was Pittsburgh and Philadelphia. And Philadelphia was actually the lower seeded team, but they beat Pittsburgh to advance. So the Rangers in round two will play Philadelphia. Our series against Chicago has not started yet. And uh, so we will um, be trying to knock them off starting with the first game. And um, we're going to open the tournament. And... Um, so we've got play round, and uh, this is, well, you know what? I can finish this one up, maybe. Um, yeah, I guess they want me to do that, or they're saying that I can do that, so I will. Um, now, in order to do this, I have to take one of the teams I'm going to make one of the teams computer, and then one of the teams will be computer lines, human decisions, but I'm not going to make any decisions. I'm not going to play the game uh, this or the series at all. I am just going to... Um, I'm just going to say to quick play the game. And we already did this, actually, for game one. And Toronto won game one, surprisingly. So we will, again, we'll go up here to game, quick play, and quick play to the end of the game. I didn't know it would give me one series at a time or I would already have done this. And uh, St. Louis wins in game two. So let me mark that down. I mean, I guess I don't have to, but. So now this series is tied one game apiece. And uh, now we are going to team open tournament West one. Um, open. Uh, play play round again we're going to go human there we're going to go computer lines human decisions next and so we're in game three now of this series again in case you don't know st louis was the higher seeded team quick play end of game and um st louis wins game two or three and wins their second game of the series 
So this is kind of exciting. You can sit here and watch this. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, open existing tournament again. Go back to West One, open. Uh, play round. Um, we're going to go computer lines, human decisions. Get into the game again. Peter Ng is their goalie. I don't even know. In Toronto's goalie, I don't. I don't even remember Peter Ng. But anyway, we're going to quick play again to the end of the game. And St. Louis wins again, and now they are up three games to one on Toronto. And so it's looking pretty grim for them. Open existing tournament. Go down to West 1. Open. Play round. Um... We'll go back to computer lines, human decisions. And we will go to um, quick play. Quick play to the end of the game. And we are seeing that St. Louis has won the series. Four games to one over St. Louis. And so now when I go back to um, open tournament, open existing tournament, it should give me our series. And it is, and we will be the um, computer lines human decisions team, and they will be the computer team. And so here we go, fans. We are in game one, and so now we know. Let me write that down. Let me write that down on my little spreadsheet I got over here, my little keep track of everything sheet. Um, St. Louis is advancing, not surprisingly. And now we just got to see if we're going to play them. Hoping so, but, you know. Why do we have Brian Hayward in the net? Shouldn't we have, wait a minute. Um, let me go. Let's see. Um, visitor lines. Yeah, we should really be going John Casey. So, there we go. Um, and so now we are going to say, um, let's go. Let's go. Okay, Steve Conroy has it for Chicago. Okay, Neil Broughton has possession of the puck for us. I guess there was a line change. So we now, it looks like Gagne has possession of the puck. And we have Mike Madonna with an outside shot option. I'm going to try to penetrate with him. 
puts the brakes on, lose puck to the opponent. So Madonna was going to lose the puck. And Steve Thomas has it for Chicago. Jim Johnson has a 75% chance to intimidate. I'm going to take that for sure. But he can't do it, and Crichton is inside shooting on Casey. And that's a save, looks like. And now Bobby Smith has the puck. And Pat Gillis, is that who it is? Shoots, and it's saved by Casey. Paul Gillis, sorry. Bobby Smith has the puck. And I will be, during the game, I will move ahead, as you've seen me do in seasonal games. I will move ahead in the game so that we're not sitting here for an hour watching a long, drawn-out hockey game where you're not even really seeing the guys on the ice. So I will do that to try to cut down on the time. Um, select a player for the shot. I'm going to say we want Mike Craig. I suppose Mike Craig is good. And Mike Craig is inside shooting on Belfour, and it's um, saved by Belfour. And now Doug Wilson has the puck for Chicago. Fifteen thirty one left. Alf Dolan has the puck. Rotten on a breakaway shot. Let's see. And that's going to be saved by Belfour. You know, maybe I won't move ahead because the time is actually moving quicker. This is kind of uh, a different, the playoffs, the computer's doing a different kind of uh, uh, play mode than the regular season was so um like for instance you're noticing shots you don't see the dice rolls and everything it's just the shot happens so if it moves along fast enough i won't do that i will televise the entire game uh dirk graham has the puck for chicago it's still zero zero and we're out shooting them three to two actually and now prop is going to have the puck for us Outside shot for the center is what it says. Yep. Dave Gagne has an outside shot option. I'm going to try to penetrate. Let's hope he can get inside. He did. So Dave Gagne with an inside shot on Eddie the Eagle. And that's going to be a save, and it looks like Belfort covered it up, so it's going to be a face-off to Belfort's left. 13-14 left in the first period. We're out shooting them 4-2, but the score is still tied at 0-0. Zero, zero. So McKegney for Chicago comes away with the puck after that melee. 12-43 in the first period. Doug Smale has took the puck away and has an <coughs> outside shot. Sorry. Saved by Belfour, and now Presley has the puck for Chicago. The right wing. Uh, Mark Tenorti has the option to intimidate, and yes, I'm definitely going to want to do that. Hard hit on Chelios. And so Tenorti now has the puck because he plastered Chelios into the boards. And there's going to be a penalty, looks like maybe on Chelios. Uh, possibly offsetting. 
Uh, no, they're, well, I mean, they are, so it's, it's four on four. That's kind of weird. First time I've seen that. During the season when we had offsetting penalties, it was just, they would, I mean, maybe those guys went to the box, but it, they would just let somebody else play in their place on the ice. But this time they're saying, no, you're going to the box and it's four on four, which is kind of awesome. I like that. Uh, there's another penalty. Who's it on? It, it probably on them. Doug Wilson, yeah. So now it's going to be four on three. And this is a lot more exciting than usual. I like this. There's 11.07 left in the period. And Brian Glynn has an outside shot option. I'm going to try to penetrate with him in this four on three. No, come on. He didn't get inside. He was stopped. So Yanni has the puck for Chicago, the defenseman. Right defenseman. He successfully skated. And... Uh, Chicago Graham has it. 10 10 left in the first period. Failed skate on their part, so. All right, uh, select a player for sh the shot. I'm going to say Madonna. And Madonna's going to try to penetrate. Dang. Failed to penetrate. My God. All right. Yanni has the puck for Chicago. 917 left. Penalty to Wilson only has 10 seconds left. Eight fifty-five left in the period now. One second left in in the uh, penalty to Wilson. Uh, let's see. Player for the shot prop is good. That's good. Um, as good as any. Got a five on four for this like last card here. Um, prop. I'm I'm gonna pass it. Let's see what happens there. Inside shot for any player. We're going to go Bobby Wilson. And Bobby Wilson, inside shot. And it's going to be a save for the left wing. So Chicago should have the puck back at equal strength, and they do. Steve Thomas has the puck for the Blackhawks. And Graham has an outside shot on Casey. And that's a save by Casey. Should be the right defenseman and it is. Dahlquist has the puck for us with 7.36 left in the period. And this is the first game of the Stanley Cup playoffs for us. Dave Gagne, uh, select player for the shot. I'm going to go prop. Couldn't knock him off, and prop is inside. Eddie the Eagle, though, he's just good. I mean, really good. And he makes a save, it looks like. And... Uh, and McKegney comes away with the puck after that save by Ed Belfour for Chicago. 
Scores tied 0-0. We're out shooting them 7-3, and there's just over seven minutes left in the first period. And Pat Gillis, or Paul Gillis for Chicago has the puck right now. And uh, Dahlquist has the option to intimidate McKegney. I'm going to say yes. And McKegney, it couldn't happen. So McKegney's inside. He takes the shot. Casey makes the save. And our left defenseman will have the puck. 629 left in the first period of a scoreless game here in Chicago in the first round of the playoffs. Perry Berezin has an outside shot option. I'm just going to shoot. I don't know how Berezin made a playoff roster, but. And that's a save by Belfour and the left defenseman for Chicago, which is Conroy at the moment, will have the puck. 514 left and there's a penalty and that's going to be probably on us jim johnson yeah nice all right so we're shorthanded now for two of the uh last five minutes of this period and steve larmer has the puck for um Chicago. And there he does a stretch pass to Rennick, Jeremy Roenick, who has an outside shot and a save. And I am going to give it to Mark Tenorti. Yes, because he's across from an A, but he's an A himself, probably. Penalty. But yeah, Tenorti's got the puck. And uh, they stole the puck, Michelle Goulet, and he had an inside shot, but Casey made the save. So here you guys, uh, there was a save by, here's the, uh, the playoff seating and the uh, playoff results for you. You want to take a look at those. If you can see them, I don't even know if you can see them, but I read them off earlier. Um, I can recap them again, but we got Doug Wilson with an inside shot on John Casey. And that's a save and player for possession is going to be Tenorti. You know what? I'm going to give it to Broughton because he's less of a penalty guy himself and he's across from a B. And unlike Berezin, he can, uh, who was also across from a B penalty, he can at least, uh, he knows his way around an ice rink. All right, outside shot for Berezin. Um, I'm going, oh, wait a minute. Select a player for the shot. Um, I'm going to say Tenorti. Or, yeah, I'm going to say Tenorti. You would think it would be Berezin because he's a front liner, but. Tenorti with an outside shot, I am going to, I'm just going to shoot it. You never know. There's 3.49 left in the first period. I do want to deflect it, yes. Berezin with the deflection. Berezin is determined, bound and determined to get a shot on goal here. And he does! And he scores with it! You like that? You like that? Wow. All right, all right, all right, Bears, and I'm done insulting you. All right, so Perry Bears and puts us up one nothing. Wait till I tell my brother that one. All right, so um, we're back to even even strength. There's 3:49 left in the first period. Um, the shots are tied up at nine apiece, but we're we're winning the game one nothing. Kurt Giles has the puck for us. Now it's just really, you know, do you ever play that game? What is NHL 90 or NHL 91 or um, something like that? But remember in that game, and I don't know how many of you guys remember this. I think it was for Sega. The Sega. 
Ah, Larmer shot and scored. <laughs> the score is tied. But remember, it's one of those games where if you had a really fast guy, he could just skate around your net with the puck, with possession of the puck. And like the other team would go up like they were going to go try to get him when he started to come out. But then if he went back behind his net, they would recede. And you could keep doing it. You could just keep with a fast guy. You could keep skating around the net and keeping the puck away from the other team. I mean, I used to do that. Um, so anyway, Broughton has, uh, or wait a minute, uh, they have the puck. Um, Dave Manson has the puck. 224 left on the first period. The score is tied at one, and Chicago is out shooting us 10-9. to nine. But yeah, I used to love that. Um, let's see, Brian Glenn has an outside shot option. I am going to, I'm going to just take it. Never know. I mean, we scored the last time, and... Balfour makes the save. So, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to, right now, um, quick play to the end of the first period. There's 224 left in the uh, first period, so I'm going to do that. And the score is still 1-1, and we're being outshot only 12-10. to So, let's get in there. So I'm glad we at least didn't give up a goal while we were away, while we were doing the quick play. But um, Tenorti has the puck for us. And uh, I guess Johnson couldn't quite uh, maneuver into a breakaway, which I'm not surprised. And Conroy has the puck for Chicago. Tenorti has the uh, chance to intimidate. I'm going to say yes. And uh, dang, penalty. Oh, it's uh, looks like it's a uh, off. Well, see, that time it was offsetting penalties. And they let everybody stay on the ice. I mean, except for the guys involved, but at least it was a five on five. I don't know what happened with that four and four. But, you know, it's the computers like in charge. So whatever it does, it does. Madonna has the puck for us. There's 1827 left in the second period. And Glenn, Glenn, he caught Glenn in a stretch pass on a breakaway. And he does not score. And Graham comes away with the puck. Dirk Graham, great name, has the puck. But anyway, you know, in that NHL 90 or 97 or whatever it was, one of the fastest guys, Steve Thomas, has an outside shot here. And Casey makes the save. One of the fastest guys was Brett Hedekin. And that's what I used to do. I would give the puck to Brett Hedekin, and I would just have him skate around our net. Certainly in the third period, but sometimes even earlier in the game, I mean, like in the second period, I would just keep doing that. Kind of a glitch in the design of the game. McKegney with an outside shot on John Casey, and it's saved by Casey. So we're in a pretty close game here. This is pretty good for us playing the powerhouse Chicago Blackhawks. And Doug Smale has the puck for us. Outside shot for the center, Bobby Smith, I'm going to try to penetrate with him. And he did. He got inside. Smith with an inside shot. And Belfour makes the save. And there's going to be a, a face-off because Belfour covered it up. So a face-off to Belfour's left. And Dahlquist has an outside shot option. And with those kind of numbers, I'm just going to have him take it. And there's a save for Belfour, Eddie the Eagle. 
Chelios comes away with the puck. We're tied at one. And Gilbert fought his way inside on a, receiving a stretch pass, and now he's inside on Casey. And there's a save. I'm going to give it to Gagne, who's across from an A. And now Glenn has the puck for us. So that situation probably doesn't exist anymore. Maybe it still does, who knows where he's across from an A. Uh, Neil Broughton has an outside shot option. I am going to try to pass it. And no, he lost the puck. Yeah, tough break there, yeah, thanks. So, Conroy has the puck for Chicago, 14.58 left in the second period. Outside shot for the center, and he penetrated, so Jeremy Roenick is going to be inside shooting on John Casey. And John Casey makes the save. And now Brian Pratt has the puck for us. 14.22 left in game one. Again, this is game one of the West 1, what I'm calling the West 1 division playoffs. Mike Madano, he shot it, and Belfort, before I could even say he was teeing it up, he shot it. And, um, and Belfort made the save, and now Dirk Graham of Chicago has the puck. And there was a line change, so we're going to take another action card. And this time, Presley has the puck. Wayne Presley. Don't remember him too much either. Brian Glenn took the puck away, and he's all by himself for a shot. And it's saved by Belfour. And now Dave Manson has the puck. Many A penalty guys as they have, you'd think they'd be in the box a lot more. McKegney, cross ice pass, and McKegney has an outside shot. Casey makes the save. Casey's playing pretty well here. I'm glad I put him in instead of Hayward. I don't know what they were thinking with Hayward. Um, McCray lost the puck, and the guy who took it away, Lemieux, has an inside shot, looks like, coming up. But, no, they didn't get inside. I, I guess Gilbert still, or McCray still had the puck, I don't know. So, um, Wilkinson has the puck for us. And now Yanni has the puck for Chicago. 10.23 left. We're about halfway through the second period. The score is tied, one apiece. And Ronick with an outside shot. And Casey makes the save. This is pretty amazing here. Prop has the puck. And Prop gets plastered. And Dirk Graham now has an outside shot. And a save by Casey. And I am going to move ahead to five minutes left in the second period. Quick play. 
to um, five minutes left in the second. And the score is still 1-1, and shots are tied uh, 19 apiece, and Doug Wilson is in the penalty box. What a nice thing to uh, fast forward to. And Dirk Graham successfully skated with the puck. 4.43 left in the second period of a one a tied at one game. Uh, Mike Madano, player for the shot. Yeah, that's a good choice. I like that choice. Mike Madano has an outside shot option. He is going to pass with those kind of numbers. Inside shot for Gagne. And Gagne with an inside shot in a tie game. And Belfour makes the save. Belfour may end up being the team MVP for Chicago for as far as they go. The penalty to Doug Wilson is over, so everybody's going to be at even strength, and Dirk Graham comes away with the puck for Chicago with 331 left in the second period. And Crichton got right on top of Casey behind the defense, and it's going to be a save, right? And yes, he covers it up, so it's going to be a face off to Casey's right. And Brian Prop has the puck for us, 256 left in the second. And there's going to be a penalty, which is going to end up with a power play for us, I believe. And it is. Five on four. It'd be nice to get another goal during this power play. Trent Yanni comes away with it, though. All righty, we've got select a player for the shot. Um, I'm going to go with Bobby Smith. And Bobby Smith has an outside shot option. I'm going to go with the pass. And uh, no, he lose. Wait, yeah, he lost the puck, and so now Larmer has the puck for Chicago. And he skated successfully with it. 2.36 left in the second period. Successful skate, and it's going to be a breakaway. Breakaway for Steve Larmer right on top of Casey. And there's a rebound. Hopefully we get it. Up defenseman if a two, and he should be, and that is, and that's Tenorti. So Tenorti has possession of the puck. We're still on the power play for a minute five, and there's a minute 38 left in the period. And Dolan has an outside shot. And Belfour makes the save on it. Presley comes away with the puck for Chicago. 39 seconds left in the second. Duchesne with the puck. Presley takes the puck away from Duchesne, but he only has an outside shot option. And that's going to be a save. And I am going to give it to Gatan Duchesne, who is across from an A. 
assuming lines don't change, that should remain it in fact. But the period's over, so it doesn't matter. So we go back out for the third, 20 minutes left in regulation of a 1-1 game between us and Chicago in the first game of the playoffs. I cannot emphasize that enough. This is the first game of the playoffs. Ulf Dahlen has the puck for us. We would really love to go up one game to nothing. It's not the end of the world if we lose and we're down one game to nothing, but it is Chicago, so we would really be in trouble. Going up one game to nothing would be great. Broughton, Neil Broughton with an inside shot. And it's going to be a save by Eddie the Eagle and a face off to his left. So, 1856 left, 22 shots apiece, one goal apiece, very close game. And we were like eight points. I want to say we were eight points worse than Chicago this year, but I'm not sure. Um, Glenn has an outside shot option. I'm going to try to pass it and see what happens. And no. He lost a puck. You know, one can hope. So anyway, um, Dave Manson has the puck. I mean, you got to try to do something. You got to try to manufacture a goal situations against Chicago because just taking outside shots on them with Eddie the Eagle in the net is not going to work. It's not a good strategy, and it isn't going to work. And Crichton took the puck away, and now he's um, right on top of Casey for a shot. And that's going to be, looks like, no, Casey. Man, it was a goal one to 18, and the split uh, card deck was a 20. Wow. So um, it's still 1-1 because Casey got a really lucky pick of the deck card. That was one of those, like in real life, it would be one of those sprawling things where he just stuck the knob of his stick up in the last second and it deflected off of the knob of the stick. So, let's see. Inside shot for center. And that's going to be Pat Gillis. Or Paul Gillis. I keep calling him Pat. Uh, I'm going to give it to Bobby Smith, yeah, because he's good with the puck and he's across from an A penalty. And we really have got to get another power play. We were lucky a couple of, you know, a shot ago where they had that shot. Outside shot for left wing. Smale has an outside shot option. I'm going to let him just take it. I know that that's not really a recipe for success on Eddie the Eagle, but got to try to do something. All right, Conroy picking up the puck. And they got a stretch pass and Larmer behind the defense right on top of Casey. But Casey, again, makes the save. Nice. It's going to be a, pace, a face off to his right, but it's better than the goal. I'll say that. 1642 left in the third period. Now, I'm going to, you know, all bets are off when I'm trying to keep this game under an hour for the watch time. Chelios with an inside shot. All bets are off if the game is tied and goes into extra, you know, goes into um, extra periods. But that would be cool, though. I mean, wouldn't you want to sit and watch that? So anyway, Conroy can't knock him, knock Broughton off the puck, and Broughton's inside on Eddie. and. Again, big save. But Tenorti picked up the puck on the rebound, and now he has a shot, and Ed makes this. Ed Belfour makes the save. And now Dirk Graham has the puck. There's 15:33 left, and uh, Brian Prop. Takes the puck away, and now Prop has it for us. 
Tie game at one, 14.57 left in the third period. Gagne has a chance to intimidate Dirk Graham, and he's going to take it. And it doesn't work, and Graham is inside shooting on Casey. And Casey makes the save. And Bobby Smith has the puck. And uh, Gatan Duchesne. And uh, Presley, now Wayne Presley has the puck for Chicago with 13.48 left. Brian Bellows has it for us. Bellows takes it away. Now we're really getting down to the nitty gritty. Um, player for the shot, Broughton. Yeah, that's a good choice. Give it to Broughton. And no penalty. It was a possible penalty there for Ronick, but it wasn't. And Ronick now has the puck with 12.51 left in regulation of a 1 1 game in game one of the what I call the West One playoffs. And I am going to try to intimidate with Glenn. And there's a penalty on Glenn. God. All right. So Glenn is in the box for two minutes. We have to try to fight this off for two minutes. And Broughton has the puck. And Larmer took it away and now has an inside shot. And we're going to give it to Tenorti because he's across from an A. The other guy was across from a penalty D. So you're not going to get a penalty from the other guy, the other defenseman across from Giles. And Bronick takes the puck away and has an inside shot with 11.52 left. And that's going to be a save. I'll give it to Broughton. He's across from a B. We can hope for that to happen. There's still a minute one left in the penalty to Glenn. And now Broughton has the puck. And there's it's Manson wrestled the puck away and had an inside shot. And now with 11:16, I am going to move ahead. I'm going to move ahead to or 10:51. I am going to quick play to about six minutes left. Yeah, let's knock four minutes off of this. And we're ahead two to one with six minutes left in the game. How sweet is that? Maybe I should move ahead to the end of the game so we can win. No, it doesn't work like that. Maybe it does, but there's a penalty, and it's a penalty on Chicago. They couldn't really, they didn't need that with only 514 left. Now, there is a way to play a stronger defensive. Um, profile but i am not going to use it one reason i'm not is because i'm not sure which one is the better defensive profile i think it's i think it's three i want to say is uh, the best defensive um profile but it also changes every time anything happens anytime there's a, pos a possession change or a 
anything. When you go to a new card, you have to make the change. And Bobby Smith failed to score there on Belfour because Belfour made the save. But he grabbed his own rebound and now has a follow-up shot. And he still shot and missed. And now there's a bench penalty on Chicago, so this is going to be great. Um, we got a five on three. Got a five on three for a minute 50. You got to think that this really plays into our favor, don't you? So Dave Manson has the puck for Chicago with 408 left. And he failed to skate, so we're going to have possession of the puck, I think. Three and a half minutes left. Madonna with the puck. I mean, you want all of those situations. He's going to pass it. Inside shot for center. Certainly, you know, can't be that bad. Gagne with an inside shot. And Belfour makes the save. So we move to the next action card. And Madonna wrestles the puck away and has an inside shot and misses and get well he didn't miss, but it was a save by Belfour. And Dave Manson has the puck. There's only 315 left in the game. A le one second left in the penalty to Chelios and 11 seconds left to Yanni. And yeah, prop, he can take it. That's fine. And prop is going to pass. I'm going to try this. Let's see if it works. No, he lost the puck, looks like. Intercepted by Mance. All right, um, player for the shot, Gagne. Yeah, I'm going to say Madano. Was Madano not good then? No, he had a lot of goals for us. He was good. All right, Madano, I'm going to pass with Madano and see if that works this time. No, we lost the puck, and now the, uh, the Blackhawks have control. All right, Doug Wilson. <laughs> Dahlquist has the puck for us, and he shoots, and Belfour makes the save. But there's 222 left, and uh, one second left in the Yanni penalty. They're going to have to, pretty soon, they're going to have to think about possibly taking Eddie the Eagle off to the bench. Minute 19 left. Yeah, they got to think about that real soon. And Glenn, I think, has the puck. With an outside shot option. Oh no, somebody took it away from him. Ronick! Ronick! And Ronick shoots, but Casey makes the save, and yeah. Glenn has the puck. There's only 44 seconds left. You might want to get Glenn off, or uh, Eddie the Eagle off the ice. Who's got the penalty? Chicago does. Well, now that pretty much ices it for us. 44 seconds left, and uh, they're down a man on the ice. They didn't really need that. That's the only thing. That's the only advantage we really have in this game, in this series, I think, is that Chicago has a bunch of goons. Sometimes they can score, but they're still all goons. So Jim Johnson has the puck. I said I would keep this under an hour for you guys, and it looks like I'm going to Bellows with an outside shot. And that's a save by Eddie the Eagle. And the period's over. 
And we have won. Yes! The North Stars go up one game to nothing on the Blackhawks in the uh, West 1 uh, playoffs. So there you go. Uh, let's see who the... Uh, John Casey was the first star, and Perry Barazon was the second, and Dave Gagne was the third. We got all the stars. We just took all the stars. So there you go. Minnesota, pretty exciting stuff. We're up one game to nothing on Chicago. But for right now, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.